The ACCA Advanced Financial Management exam has introduced a new topic. It's called SPEC or Special Purpose Acquisition Companies. Now, this is not very common in most parts of the countries, but we can see that, for example, in London or in the United States of America, yes, the ways that we can list our company can be using the SPEC way. Now, how does it work? Firstly, a group of professional investors, sometimes they are called sponsors, will group together and to set up a business. Now, after they set up a business, remember, the aim is to list that company onto the stock exchange and it will have to go through the traditional initial public offering process or the IPO process. So, for example, determining the share price and having the roadshow and having the PowerPoint to persuade the uh, primary market, which means the initial investors, to buy its shares. However, for that company, it has no businesses at all. But after going through the IPO, it will have the listed status. Now, the aim of setting up such companies would be to use that listed company to find target company to acquire. So, for example, a group of sponsors may be setting up the company A. And the aim for the company A is not to conduct its own business because it has no businesses at all because the company A is listed using the spec route per the stock exchange requirement. And the company A, the aim for that is to find company B or company C to buy. Okay, now, after company A found out we've got the target company here, okay, find its company. Now, the aim for the spec is to allow the company, highlighted in red here, to be listed onto the stock exchange. So, how can we do it? The simple ways that we can do it is to exchange shares from the company A with the company B, okay, so performing the share for share exchange. So in other words, if I were to buy the company B because I'm the listed company already, I have no businesses at all, I buy the company B and the company B shares belong to mine and my shares belongs to the company B. So in essence, the company B is now a listed company. Okay, because I'm the company A, right, I'm a listed company, and the company B has my own shares. So if that's the case, then the company B is a listed company, and that's how it works. Now, here's the big deal. Usually, if you were to list your company using a spec rule, you will have to fulfill the requirements by your stock exchange. So usually, the after you set up the company A here, you will need to find a target within a specified time frame. So usually in most stock exchanges, it will be less than 24 months. So how about if you set up a company A, you cannot find a target company to acquire. So for example, company B is to acquire after 24 months. So if that's the case, then the company A will have to be delisted from the stock exchange. And of course, for the very first time, the company A went listed onto the stock exchange, so the group of sponsors or professional investors will have to invest money into that company A. So if that's the case then, the company A has lots of cash at the moment. So if that's the case then, the cash invested by the sponsors will have to be invested in the government securities. For example, usually it will be the government bond to earn the interest income. In order to satisfy the group of sponsors or to compensate for them a bit further for the time value of money effects that they input their money in in the first place. And that's how it works. And this is what I mean by fund management in technical terms. Because the aim for the spec route is to help the company B to become a listed company, and that's all we can do.
A famous example for this, as we can say, is the company called WeWork. However, WeWork, before using a spec route to list this company onto the stock exchange, initially, in 2019, has faced a failed IPO. And therefore, we work switched to another route and to find the spec company existed on the stock exchange. It's called Bowes Acquisition Corporation. And then performing the share for share exchange and, and negotiating the terms with the group of sponsors. Uh, so from the IPO in 2019, which it has failed, it was estimated to be the market value being $47 billion. But after using the spec route to list its company, the valuation falls down to $9 billion only. And after that, as you can see, the share price of the WeWork has been decreasing over the years and becoming very low share price recently. Uh, one of the main reasons behind it, from my perspective, is that uh, because we've got the specified time frame, so usually within uh, two years to complete the uh, acquisition of the company B, and this means that if you rush to buy another company, it will certainly be whether or not that company shares has been overvalued, we're not particularly sure about that. So that would be one of the main reasons why the share price has been decreasing over the years after the spec route. I'm not saying that the spec route is rubbish, but uh, it may have its own disadvantage, and therefore you need to watch out, because there would be uh, lots of successful companies following the spec routes to be listed on the stock exchange already. Now, if I'm the examiner for the ACCA AFM exam, or, although I'm not the examiner for the ACCA AFM exam, I would like to set a very similar question, okay, uh, just in case that uh, we are familiarizing ourselves with the spec concept here. So write the question, okay, as you can see on the screen. This company is called Green Tech Innovations. Uh, it's a very good company in the energy sector and uh, failed the IPO in 2020. Okay, now let's see, I've given you four marks here is to explain advantages and disadvantages for the green tech to use the spec merger, okay, so to merge another company. Uh, so not from a spec company's point of view, but uh, are more like from the green tech, which means like the rework point of view. So if I were to list my company onto the stock exchange using the spec route. Now let's see the exhibits I created for you. The IPO was unsuccessful due to market concerns over its technology and doubts about its product. Right. And therefore, facing these challenges, the company is now considering an alternative route to public listing, exploring the option of merging with a spec in 2023. And therefore, you are required to comment on its pros and cons. Make sure that you're ready for that. Because if I'm the examiner, I'm not very interested in asking you, okay, if I were to uh, be a group of uh, sponsors and setting up a spec and, and the fund management, we're talking about the underwriting fees related to that. I'm not very interested in those, but I'm more interested in how about helping a company to quickly to be a listed company onto the stock exchange. Okay, so making sure that you're aware of the pros and cons. Here, I created the pros and cons for you. The first advantage, I would say that it's much simpler for green tech to go through the traditional IPO. Okay, so you will save lots of costs and time regarding the audit of your financial statements. So usually, from a traditional IPO's point of view, you will need to have at least three years set of financial statements and meeting with such requirements by the stock exchange before you can successfully list your company. And also having the road show as well, having the PowerPoints to persuade the primary market, which means the uh, institutional investors or the investment bankers to buy your shares at the very first time. 
But these sort of things have been done by the spec company already, and the spec company will simply be looking uh, for a particular target companies to acquire, and, and that's it. So from a target company's point of view, yes, it would be a lot simpler for me to be listed onto a stock exchange. At the same time, from the green tech or the rework company's point of view, I can benefit the expertise that I can partner with a group of sponsors. So which means don't simply overestimate those sponsors or the professional investors. They can buy your company, yes, you can partner with them and to grow your business further. And you can benefit from their expertise in terms of finance, strategic parts, human resources and supply chain management and so on. So usually that would be a good sign to the market that it will improve the investor's confidence a bit further. However, there would be a lot of cons regarding this spec route and to help the target company to be listed. Firstly, it may dilute our existing shareholdings uh, with the existing shareholders because using a spec route, we will need to perform the share for share exchange in most circumstances. Of, of course, plus a bit of cash considerations because I buy another company and the company would be listed. Uh, at the same time, I may be required to negotiate directly with uh, the group of sponsors to offer them large shareholdings. So if that's the case then, how about for my existing shareholders? Because I will need to take part of their shares and to give to a group of sponsors. So if that's the case then, the existing shareholders will suffer. At the same time, yes, as you can say, we need to complete the finding the target company and to list that as soon as possible because there would be a specified time frame required by the stock exchange for the spec companies to find a suitable target. So in order to uh, find that target as quickly as possible, so usually A company, which is a spec for example, buying B company, it may overvalue the B company, such as what we've seen, for example, for WeWork company. It's been overvalued a bit further. So as you can see, that's why the share price have been decreasing since 2021 up to now. So this means that there might be volatility in terms of share price movement so we need to care about, okay, from the existing shareholders' point of view. Pros and cons, from my perspective, if you know these sort of stuff, from my perspective, I will award you with full marks to pass this topic. So make sure that you're ready. Firstly, from the spec company's point of view, that you know the fund management, you know there will be a specified time frame, you know that our aim is to find the target companies to buy. At the same time, you also need to know the pros and cons from the target company, which means the company B's point of view. So having this in mind, you will certainly pass the ACCA AFM exam in the upcoming sitting. I'm going to be stopping this recording now. I hope you enjoy it. and look forward to seeing you in the future studies. Bye-bye. APC Accounting for your future